welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Wednesday, so it is another what I eat in a day to lose weight on WW. I am currently on the blue plan and I do follow a clean approach to WW, which basically means that I try to eat as clean as possible, whole food in their natural state as much as possible. I do not eat any sugar-free or low fat. I try to have full fat dairy, full fat cheese, all the good things. So if you wanna see what I eat in a day to lose weight on WW's Blue Plan with a clean eating approach, stay tuned. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. you guys my coffee creamer and kind of how I make my coffee I just kind of showed you this briefly when I made my coffee for today but this is a new coffee creamer that I have found I actually saw this at Costco in the original flavor which is an unflavored version really really good price at Costco so I may actually pick that up but when I got home I hopped on Amazon to see if they had it in flavored because I have been struggling to find a clean food flavored coffee creamer because I like my coffee flavored. So I was excited to see that they actually do have a flavored one. So I ordered all of them. I am missing the pumpkin spice. It is still on its way, but this is the layered or layered superfood, super food creamer. So it's gluten-free and non-GMO. You guys, this creamer is so good and it has fantastic ingredients. Here's a little information about it. It has all four MCTs, which is really, really good that it has that. No refined sugar, doesn't need to be refrigerated, and your directions are really easy. All you do is add it to a hot cup of coffee and stir it up really good. Make sure your coffee is nice and hot because it will be clunk clumpy if you don't mix it really well. Here is your nutritional information. If you have three quarters of a teaspoon, it's about 10 calories, or you can have a tablespoon for 45 calories. One tablespoon ends up being two smart points. I just do just shy of a tablespoon and count it as a one. But here is your information, and then here is the best part. You you guys look at these ingredients so this particular one is the cacao so this has coconut milk powder organic coconut sugar cacao powder aquamin which is calcium from calcium from marine algae and organic extra virgin coconut oil that's it i mean hands down the best ingredients you're going to find in a creamer and it's so good my absolute favorite is the vanilla and then i really like the chocolate mint it's really good too i just have not tried the cacao yet because i just got it but if you guys are flavored coffee people this is a great option for clean eating i want to see say these little bags on amazon are 14.95 i will link all of them down below for you guys i'm telling you it is well worth it because it's as clean as clean can be i mean the cleanest coffee creamer you're going to find and what i end up doing as you saw is putting just a tiny bit of creamer just a grass-fed creamer i put about a teaspoon so it's zero points and it just makes it extra creamy and it's so good and then also sometimes for a little extra flavor i'll put in a tiny bit of sweet drops so in the vanilla i'll add that vanilla cream and then i have coconut and english toffee which would be really really good here in the cacao so sometimes if i want a little extra sweetness i'll add a couple drops of this pretty good ingredients the only thing i don't like is that it has natural flavors which is really artificial flavors, but overall sweet drops are pretty good ingredients. So sometimes if I'm feeling a little extra sweetness, I'll add those, but highly recommend that you add both the layered creamer and the sweet drops to your coffee arsenal. And I'm going to link everything down below for you guys because I bought everything on Amazon. So here is this morning's breakfast. I am so excited. I'm hungry. It is about eight o'clock 
We did have the time change today, so I wasn't as hungry as early, but I am excited for this morning's breakfast. So I have a Sumo Mandarin, which you guys, I picked, hauled these last uh, grocery haul. I love them. They are amazing and worth every dollar. Like they're so, so good. And I decided this week to just go ahead and do a breakfast sandwich. So I have an Ezekiel English muffin and this is the one I'm using. This is the Food for Life Ezekiel Sprouted Grain English Muffin. You will find these in the freezer section in the health aisle of your grocery store or really at any health food store. They're amazing. They have amazing ingredients. They're solid. They're super heavy and dense and filling. And they're four smart points, which is the same as a regular Thomas English muffin that's full of white flour processed ingredients. You can have an organic English muffin with sprouted grain for the same smart points. It's going to keep you much more full and it is 100% clean eating. And then what I did is added one egg and I added one slice of this Trader Joe's uncured dry rubbed sliced bacon for one smart point and one slice of the Sargento Ultra Thin. I'm just trying to use this up and then moving forward all my cheese that I buy is of course going to be organic but I'm going to use up what I have on hand and that is also one smart point. So obviously the sumo mandarin is zero, the English muffin is four, the bacon is one and the cheese is one. So this is a six smart point breakfast. I finished my coffee and I have officially moved on to water number one for the day. Hi, you need mommy's attention? Do you? She's been sitting here staring at me. I don't even have food for a little bit because I think she needs some mommy time. Let mommy finish this and I'll come and sit with you for a little bit, okay? Okay, baby? So excited, my Thrive order is here. You guys, I placed this order two days ago and it arrived today. Love Thrive. Let me show you what I picked up and then I'll tell you guys a little bit about the Thrive Market. Can I just point out how cute this is? Oh my gosh, I love Thrive so much. So this is what it looks like when you open up your box. It is well packed, you guys, and nothing ever, ever breaks. I mean, it is so well packed. And if you buy anything glass, they wrap it up really, really well for you as well so that it doesn't break. But I can't wait to dig in and show you guys what I got. So here's everything I got in this order from Thrive. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so excited. I am going to be doing a clean eating snacks video. You'll see I picked up a lot of snacks because I'm gonna do a review on some clean eating snacks, tell you what I loved, tell you what I didn't love. So let's jump into my Thrive haul. I am going to be putting the points as well as the price on the screen because I want to show you guys how affordable the Thrive Market is. So first I grabbed these hippie snacks. These are avocado crisps. So these are some sea salt type of cracker. The first ingredient in these are avocados. So I'm excited to have these. And I'll let you guys know, of course, in the snack video, what I thought of them. We'll go through everything that I show you here, plus a ton of other snacks. Also, I grabbed this Amazing Greens Protein Superfood. I thought this would be really good to add to a smoothie. So this is just daily plant-based nutrition, one packet, stir and smile. And again, it has really, really good ingredients and it's 120 calories. So basically you would use this in place of protein powder for a smoothie. Also for a snack, I got these Go Raw. These are the same company that I got those little cookies at Fred Meyer a couple weeks ago. Sprouted organic snacking seeds in sea salt and vinegar. So these are kind of like sea salt and vinegar sunflower seeds. So I thought how fun would these be to try? Really quick, easy, portable snack. And they did have their taco seasoning this time, yay. So I went ahead and picked up two packets of the organic taco seasoning. Best in class ingredients in this taco seasoning. Also, Mary's Gone Crackers is a really good clean eating whole food brand of crackers. This is the super seed in the everything. So kind of like the everything bagel. They are organic, gluten free, and there's five grams of protein per serving. So I thought these would be really good with cheese or meat or dipped in hummus. So I grabbed those. Also, I found these Thrive Organic Crookies cacao sesame thin. So these are gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, and paleo. So it basically says it's a cracker meets a cookie. So I'm excited to try these. They are basically chocolate flavored, so that'll be a nice snack. I also grabbed these Thrive non-GMO grain-free puffs. These are vegan nacho. These had really, really, really good reviews. They are made with coconut oil. 
so they are vegan and I am assuming they are paleo as well and it looks like you can have an ounce for 130 calories and pretty good ingredients in those as well so I was wanting like a replacement for a Cheeto so I'm excited to try those and then I have heard nothing but good things about these these are from the real food from the ground up company these are butternut squash pretzels so they are made out of butternut squash I have heard that they are really really good and they have great ingredients and it looks like you can have 20 twists for 110 calories or the points here on the screen. These are made with vegan ingredients and real butternut squash. So great alternative to your traditional white flour pretzel. Also from the Simple Mills brand, I actually got quite a few things from them. You guys know I love their crackers. I picked that big box up at Costco. Well, Thrive has so many other fun Simple Mills things. So these are the Soft Bake Spiced Carrot Cake Almond Flour Bars. So these are a great granola bar replacement. So it says only whole foods, nothing artificial ever. And they're soft. So I'm excited to try that. Be great for breakfast with an egg and some fruit. And then I went ahead and picked up the four pack of mints. These are the Thrive brand. You have to be careful with mints because the sugar-free ones use a lot of not so good artificial sweeteners. So these are xylitol sweetened, which isn't the best artificial sweetener, but it's better than most. They're a vegan and they are aspartame free. So I have berry, peppermint, cinnamon, and lemon. So thought I would give those a try. Also from Simple Mills, I picked up another kind of cracker. So I have the sea salt. These are the rosemary and sea salt. And I love anything rosemary. So I'm excited to try those. I love, by the way, the ones I picked up at Costco. So good. Also from Simple Mills, I was excited to see this. These are individual little bags of farmhouse cheddar crackers. So they're already pre-portioned out for you, which is actually really nice. So you don't have to try to weigh out or count out your crackers. So one package has 120 calories in it. And again, you guys, Simple Mills has really, really good ingredients. Look at these ingredients in this um, cracker. The only thing that isn't absolutely perfect is the sunflower oil is not expeller pressed but oh my goodness you guys for a cracker you cannot go wrong with the simple mills brand and lastly from simple mills cookies i love cookies these are the crunchy chocolate chip cookies they have only six grams of sugar and this is the best part they are sweetened with coconut sugar, which is the best sugar that you can possibly sweeten anything with. I did take a quick look at the ingredients online and look at this. You can have three cookies for the smart points. And again, their ingredients are really good and they use coconut oil. So actually these ingredients are absolutely perfect in these cookies. So super excited to try them. I hope that they give me all those yummy chocolate chip cookie vibes. And then I've heard a lot about these. So I picked up two boxes. These are the Lundberg Thin Stackers Brown Rice. So I don't know if you can see these, but they're square and basically they are like a rice cake. And I thought, how good would this be with hummus or some of that honest stand cheese or even some meat and avocado? Oh my gosh, you could do so much nut butter. So I wanted to try these. They're very, very low point. You can have four of them for the smart points. And I heard they're great. They're gluten-free, grain-free. So I went ahead and grabbed two boxes. And by the way, the price on these was $1.50 less than I saw them at the health food store. So Another reason to love Thrive. And then one thing I love about the Thrive Market is they have a lot of their beans in these pouches versus in cans. You have to be really careful with cans because of the chemicals in the lining of the can. So I love that Thrive took black beans and all their beans and they put them in these fun little pouches, which makes it really easy to cook them, store them. They don't take up as much room and you don't have to worry about the chemicals in the can. So I grabbed two packages of the organic black beans and two of the garbanzo beans because I have a ton of recipes coming out using garbanzo beans and again for the price and being organic you can't go wrong I also grabbed another bag of the Thrive sprouted brown rice you guys this brown rice is amazing my husband and I absolutely loved it it has so much more flavor and one thing about this brown rice is it doesn't have that hard crunchy texture of other brown rice. So it cooks up nice and soft like a white rice. Love, love, love it. Great price for this. If this is a one, 
yeah, a one pound package. And lastly, another big bag of the organic rolled oats. I talked about this in my last Thrive Haul. Oats are heavily sprayed with glyphosate, which is the active ingredient in Roundup. Highly recommend you buy your rolled oats organic and Thrive has a stellar price on those. So that's everything guys. I can't wait for you to check out my taste test and also let you guys know what I thought of these snacks. That video will be coming out shortly. So I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the Thrive Market. So this is what the Thrive Market page looks like. It is so amazing, you guys. You can shop by diet. So if you're looking for gluten-free, organic, paleo, you can shop by just the market foods that Thrive puts out, which are amazing, by the way, and less expensive than some of the more traditional brands. You can shop by the type of food, meat and seafood, wine, vitamin supplements, beauty. I mean, you name it, they literally have everything. So it's a one-stop shop, not just for food, but really for everything and anything. So if you wanted to go look at Thrive Market foods that are certified organic, you can click on that and look, it's literally going to show you that's what I've recently purchased. So if I want to buy it again, it puts it right at the top of the screen, which is so nice. And then there are thousands, I mean thousands and thousands of good, clean eating, organic, whole food at incredible prices. So this is just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, you can see that there's literally everything and anything here on Thrive. So down in the description box is the link. If you click it, it'll bring you over and you can get $20 worth of anything you want off of the website. I mean, literally anything and everything you want. And the membership is so affordable and so worthwhile they give you fun little freebies with every order and they ship for free it's amazing literally amazing you guys so definitely definitely use my link and join the thrive market so this is my lunch today i decided to make a huge salad i'm so excited for this so on the bottom i have some organic romaine lettuce from trader joe's I have one tablespoon worth of pumpkin seeds. These are the ones that I use. These are from Trader Joe's. They're organic, they're so good. They have just the tiniest little bit of a touch of sea salt. So they're just a really nice crunch element to a salad. And then I have one eighth of a cup of the Trader Joe's crumbled feta cheese. You can have one eighth of a cup for one smart point. Once you get up to a quarter cup, it ends up being three smart points. So I have one eighth of a cup of feta. I have a little bit of these dried bean cherries from Trader Joe's. All that is in these is cherries. So you can see here, there's no added sugar. So I actually count these as zero points because I literally only add a few to my salad for like a little bit of sweetness. I have one hard boiled egg for zero, some shredded julienne carrots for zero, and then this is just some chicken breast that was left over from my meal prep. So there's nothing added to this, so that is zero points as well. And then the dressing that I'm going to be using is the Trader Joe's Green Goddess salad dressing. This has avocado, green onion, lemon juice, chives, basil, and garlic, and it is delicious, you guys. It's so good. And you can have just a ton of it for the smart points. So, uh, let me put on the screen here how much dressing I end up using and the smart points just because I'm not sure yet. I want to kind of mix my salad together. And then over here, my friends, is water number three. So this is going to be my lunch. So without the dressing, just because I don't know exactly how many points my dressing is going to be yet. I have one point for the feta cheese, one point from for the pepitas is two smart points. So my salad is only two smart points before any dressing. I just finished my salad and I'm wanting a little bit of something sweet for dessert. So I'm gonna have two points worth of the Lily salted al almond milk chocolate style. Lily's is a great option for chocolate if you're trying to have good ingredients. So I'm going to have two smart points worth of this for dessert. You guys want a bone? Do you? Oh, let's show them what your favorite bones are. I love these better belly bones. I get the small ones because this one over here eats the whole thing in like a minute. So I like to buy the small one. So do you guys want one? Diesel, hey. Oh no, you're staring at him. Over here. Oh, yay everyone. You sit, oh good boy. Bubba, Bubba, shake. Oh, good job, buddy. Here you go, good job. All right, Lola, sit. You sink. Oh, good girl, honey, here you go. So here's my afternoon snack. I went ahead and made a smoothie. I was going to show you guys what I put in today's smoothie. I know it doesn't look the prettiest, 
but it tastes absolutely amazing. So for the base of my smoothie, I used some frozen blueberries. I used what was left in here, maybe three quarters of a cup of frozen blueberries. I do not count blended fruit as points because I limit my fruit per day and I don't eat more fruit in my smoothie than I would if I ate it raw. So there's that. And you go ahead and count it if that works for you, but I do not count blended fruit. I also put in, there's three pieces of banana in here. So I put in one of the pieces. So it was about this much banana. And then I put in a bag of frozen kale. So this is that organic kale that I bought a couple weeks ago and I like to just throw it in baggies and freeze it. So I actually put it in an entire bag. You cannot even taste the kale, you guys. And it's a great, great way to get extra greens. And then for a powder, I found this at my local health food store. I did also find this on Amazon and ordered a couple of other ones. So I will make sure I link this down below for you guys. But this is the Essential Living Foods Wild Protein Smoothie Mix. This one is vegan protein and greens. So it's organic, non-GMO. What I love about it is if you put in four teaspoons or I'm sorry, four tablespoons of the smoothie mix, it's only two points. So I went ahead and just put in two tablespoons. That is plenty. Here is what is in this mix. So you're getting a good dose of protein and you're actually getting some extra greens. So there's 17 grams of protein in four tablespoons. I only put in two tablespoons. So I'm getting, what is that? About eight and a half grams of protein, which is not bad for a smoothie. So I really like this base. It tastes really good. I actually made a smoothie with this for my husband. He didn't say a word. He actually really liked it. So it, it adds a good kind of creamy texture, like a protein powder, but it's extremely good for you. And it's a really good price on Amazon, actually less than I paid at my local health food store. So I'll link that down below for you guys. And then I always add just a little bit of coconut water, not enough to count for a point, but it does kind of help thin out all of the frozen fruits and veggies and all that other stuff that ends up in your smoothie. And then I also added just the tiniest amount of cashew milk, maybe two or three tablespoons. So that's zero points. And then I always add in my apple juice. I put in three points worth of organic apple juice. This is organic, non-GMO. Literally, you guys, this is really really good to put in smoothies you do have to count the points for it but it's literally juice from apples that's it so i mean technically it would be zero points but i do go ahead and count it so i put in three points worth of that so this smoothie is a total of four points three for the apple juice and one for the mix and four smart points that will keep me nice and full till dinner full of good whole foods and lots of greens. For tonight's dinner, I'm going to be making Salisbury steak. We're gonna pair this with some roasted potatoes. They're actually left over from last night's dinner and a veggie. So I'm gonna show you how to make a really good, clean Salisbury steak. First, you're going to need some salt and pepper. Whatever breadcrumbs you wanna use, I generally just crush up some of my Simple Mills crackers just because they have really good ingredients and they actually make a great breadcrumb. You'll also need some minced onion and garlic salt or powder. Cream of mushroom soup. The recipe actually calls for Campbell's golden mushroom, but I uh, prefer to use a cleaner soup. So I'm gonna be doing this cream of mushroom. 93.7 grass fed beef and an egg. We'll also need to add a little bit of water. So let's start this Salisbury steak. All right, let's start our Salisbury steak. So in my bowl here, I have one pound of the extra lean ground beef, the 93.7. I'm going to go ahead and add in some minced onion. And you can kind of add your spices to your liking. We prefer minced onion mixed into like meatballs and meatloaf versus regular onion, but you could use fresh onion as well, whatever your preference is. I'm also going to add some garlic salt so that we get that little bit of garlic flavor in our Salisbury steak. Also a pinch of pepper and a pinch of regular salt. And then in my bag here, I crushed up 12 of the Simple Mills crackers just as my binding agent. One quarter cup of the cream of mushroom soup from Pacific. And lastly, I have an egg. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack my egg. Oh no. Wing it. There we go. 
Oh yeah, we made it, we made it. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and give this a mix. I'm digging in with my hands because not only do I have to mix this really, really well, we also have to make these into six patties and put them here on my parchment lined baking sheet. So I might as well just dig in with my hands right out of the gate and get everything mixed together. And then we are going to form this into six patties. All right, everything is combined. So I'm gonna go ahead and start forming six patties. You can see the mushrooms from the soup in the patty. That's gonna be so delicious. I'm not quite sure on the size. I may have to go back and make them a little bit bigger and or smaller when it's all said and done, but I'm gonna try to get six pretty even patties out of the hamburger. So here are the Salisbury steak patties. These are going to go in a 350 degree oven until they're cooked completely through. It says about 40 minutes, but I have a convection oven. Mine cooks a little faster. Just keep your eye on them, and when they're cooked through, they are done. I'm gonna put the potatoes together as well, and we'll throw those in the oven along with our Salisbury steak. All right, so here are my leftover potatoes. We had put these in the oven the other night. So we're gonna have those. I have a pan here. I'm just gonna spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. And I'm just going to put my potatoes kind of down in the bottom here. And by throwing these back in the oven, they'll get nice and crispy again. You could also throw these into your air fryer which is what I probably would do, except for the fact that I have my oven going for the Salisbury steak. So there are our potatoes, they're already seasoned. They have a little bit of olive oil or avocado oil on them. So I'm gonna put these right alongside the Salisbury steak. While everything's in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my cream of mushroom soup here to a bowl. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to kind of thin this out. And we're gonna actually use this as the gravy to top the Salisbury steak. These are the veggies that we're gonna have, organic, just steamable California blend. So I'll throw these in the microwave and we'll have these with the potatoes and the Salisbury steak. I just pulled the Salisbury steaks out of the oven. They are done. I've got my veggies in the oven right, or in the microwave and my potatoes, about a minute left on those. So let me put together tonight's dinner and I'll be back to show you what I'm having and give you the smart points. So here is my dinner for tonight. I have some of the vegetables with just some salt and pepper. So that is zero points. I have four points worth of the roasted potatoes. Again, I just reheated these with the Salisbury steak and they came out nice and crispy. And then my Salisbury steak is also going to be three points. And that is for both the steak patty and the cream of mushroom soup on top. So this is a seven smart point dinner. It is time, my friends, to draw the five winners for my 25,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm so incredibly excited. So I went ahead and entered the URL here for the video that I announced the giveaway in, which was last week's What I Eat in a Day. You can see here that I have filtered duplicate users, so those people that have commented more than once, we'll only get one entry into the drawing. So we have 369 unique commentators. So what we're gonna do is go down here, and this is where we're going to start our raffles. So the first person I draw is going to receive $100 on the Protein Wise website. I'm actually giving away three of those. So I'll draw three winners for $100 at Protein Wise. So here we go, good luck everyone. And thank you so much for watching my video and commenting. And the winner of the first $100 at ProteinWise is Margaret Hamiza. Hamza? I hope I pronounced that right. Again, you guys have 48 hours to contact me and let me know that you saw this video and you want to claim your prize or I will have to draw a new winner. So Margaret, send me an email. My email is down in the description box of this video. So uh, let's go on to the second winner. Winner number two of $100 at ProteinWise is his website is going to be, drum roll please, Cindy Ball. Congratulations, Cindy. You have also won $100 on the Protein Wise website. All right, and let's draw for the third and final winner of $100 on the Protein Wise website. So this is the last person to receive the $100, and that is Wanda Corley. Congratulations, Wanda, my friend. Next up, I'm really excited about this. I'm going to draw for a box of some of my favorite things. It could be food, it could not be food. I'm going to send you a special box just from me. So let's draw. And the winner of the box of my very, very favorite things is going to be Donna Andrade. Oh, 
yay Donna. Congratulations, my dear. You just won a box of my favorite things. And the grand finale, the last prize, is going to be a one-year membership to the Thrive Market. And you guys know I'm literally obsessed with the Thrive Market. I'm going to give you and pay for a one-year membership. So the winner of that, which in my opinion is the best because I love Thrive, congratulations on a Thrive Yay! membership to Susan McAlfey. Thank you so much to everybody who commented, watched my video, and again, thank you for getting me to 25,000 subscribers and for all of your support. I love you all. For dessert tonight, I'm going to have a Built Bar. I'm feeling some chocolate and peanut butter, and this sounds so good. This is the Peanut Butter Built Bar. I love this one. It tastes like kind of a dumbed-down Reese's. It doesn't have as strong of a peanut butter taste as a Reese's, but it is so good, and it's incredibly filling. It has little chunks of peanuts in it and it's made with organic peanut butter it has pretty darn good ingredients for a protein bar and by far the lowest smart points of any good ingredient protein bar it has 170 calories 20 grams of protein seven fiber three sugar and seven fat so between the protein fat and fiber it definitely keeps you nice and full so this is going to be my dessert and it is four smart points my code here on the screen will get you 10% off and free shipping. Make sure you write my code down because you can use it over and over again. It's definitely something that you can use every time you place an order. So if you haven't checked out Built Bar or you need to restock, this is a great time. And again, my code gets you 10% off and free shipping. So this is dessert and this is the last thing I'm going to be eating today. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day on WW. And again, I am on the blue plan and I do follow a clean approach to WW, eating whole, real, clean food. Congratulations to all five of my 25,000 subscriber giveaway winners. I can't wait to send you your goodies. Please make sure if you are a winner that you respond back to me via email. I will go ahead and link my email down in the description box within 48 hours or I will have to draw for another winner. I wanna make sure that I get these goodies sent out as soon as possible. Also, if you're new, make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so that you don't miss a single video. Down in the description box is the recipe for tonight's dinner. It was absolutely delicious, as well as the links to my favorite things and my discount codes. I also linked at the top the link for Thrive. Highly recommend that you guys go on over to Thrive and get a membership. It is such a great website and you can't beat $20 worth of free product of your choice. You get to pick it. And again, they send you free goodies and all of the orders and free shipping. So highly recommend you join Thrive. And again, the link for that is in the description box as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you love these what I eat in a days and comment down below and let me know what you thought of today's food. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments as well. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.